This is a custom vehicle owned by a Greenville admin that isn't available to anyone else publicly. However, today I get to drive it. Now, despite it looking relatively similar to the other Cadillac CCSV hang trim we currently have in game, there are actually a couple features that heavily differentiate itself from it. So first of all, all the badges on the vehicle are completely blacked out. Unlike the regular version of the vehicle, which has normal badges, also having a side plate on top of that, which once again, the normal version doesn't have. Some of the more crazy features on this thing include the police lights and sirens, which are obviously not available to the regular model, which can be purchased in game. Also, the fact that it is much louder than the regular version of it, also having completely different idle sounds. Additionally, the vehicle is actually slightly lowered, which is definitely a cool touch, as currently users are unable to lower their cars in game without using any sort of glitches. So this could be somewhat of a representation of what lowered vehicles might look like in Greenville if they are ever to come out. Even though it is only slightly lowered, knowing Greenville, they'll probably never allow people to fully slam their vehicles. So this is probably a more realistic view of what it might look like. Moving on to the driving experience, for the most part the speeds are essentially the same as the ones presented on the in-game model, with top speeds of up to 205 miles per hour and a 0 to 60 speed of approximately 1.5 to 2 seconds. However, despite that, these speeds are honestly still insane, and I feel like if they were adjusted anymore, this thing would probably become undrivable, so it's pretty understandable why Sluz, who owns this vehicle, probably didn't want to actually change those much. However, all the extra quick and features this thing contains definitely makes up for that. Overall, this is definitely one of the cooler admin cars I've seen in Greenville, as despite it not being as crazy or unusual as some of the ones I've seen, it's definitely cool to see something that has nice subtle features that you just can't have on the regular car model. Anyway, huge shout out to Sluz for providing me with this vehicle today, and if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. But anyways guys, that's going to be basically it for today's video, so I'll see you guys in the next one.